Hello guys, what's up? It's Tova. I hope y'all are doing well today. If you're new to this channel, my name is Tova and I run an online clothing brand business called Reborn Club. And on this channel, I share all things entrepreneurship, wellness, lifestyle. So if you're into that stuff, then don't forget to subscribe and like this video. This YouTube video is gonna be really exciting. We have a day in the life and we're starting it on Monday, January 20. Third. <laughs> Currently 8 a.m. right now, and I wanted to share with you a new part of my morning routine. I'm not gonna lie and sit here and say I've done it every single morning, but I do try and do it a few mornings of the week. I'm gonna show it to you. It literally takes five minutes of your day, and I really think this will improve your day because I'm telling you right now, I was feeling pretty low. I wasn't getting orders. I didn't get orders for like two days straight, which usually I get orders every single day. I was in a really bad mood, feeling, you know, really doubtful, really, you know, all those things. And then one morning I sat down and I was like, we're gonna attract abundance. We're gonna manifest this morning. We're gonna tell ourselves positive affirmations. What happened five minutes after that, I got an order. And then like an hour after that, I got another order. That day I ended up getting like eight orders. So I'm gonna stop talking and I'm gonna show you what you need to do to raise your vibrations this morning. All right, let's go. First thing you're gonna do, you're going to search up manifesting frequency and you're gonna find one that you like. I used this one before, but maybe today I'm gonna try this one. Basically, I start with stretching and then after about a couple minutes of stretching, I get into a comfortable position and I literally just recite a bunch of affirmations like I'm successful, I'm abundant, I'm going to have a great day, I'm confident. And that's it. I promise you it makes you feel so good after. Naturally, as I decided to do that video, the recycling truck came to pick up recycling for today and was extremely loud. So it was so hard for me to just like focus on what I wanted to get across in that little session. I really, really encourage you guys to do this. I know like it could be a little bit uncomfortable, I guess, but trust me, do not be afraid to ask for what you want. Do not be afraid to put out the good vibes and good energy into the universe because you don't even realize what it does to you throughout your day. I really recommend you say it out loud and instead of just thinking it because saying it it just does something else to you anyways now we're going to start packing up some orders i have several orders to pack from over the weekend and then after that i'm gonna go to a coffee shop with my friend to do some work Alrighty, time to package up a few orders. I just wanted to say quickly that I did get new packaging. The paper bags worked really well and I loved them, but the only flaw was that they took so long to package because I would have to put the item in and then I would have to fold it, seal it with a sticker, put another sticker, throw it in a bag, and I just felt like it took too much time. I actually ordered these many, many, many months ago and they finally came in from overseas. So I'm going to be using these. I do like the fact that they're reusable and because they're so big, I really do believe that people can reuse these for anything. Like if I got this, I would definitely reuse it. Let's package up our first order for Kate. Kate got a grateful for you brown hoodie and extra large. Do you see how much easier that just made my life? Now I just throw it in a bag. So easy. Next order that we're gonna package up is for Sienna. Sienna got a this moment black zip up and extra large. Next order is for Amber. Amber got a Rooting For You Ash Gray hoodie. Next order is for Michaela. Michaela got a Grateful For You Forest Green hoodie in medium and a Rooting For You Brown hoodie in medium. Next order is for Audrey. Audrey got a Grateful For You Forest Green hoodie in size medium. And the last order is for Simone. Simone got a Grateful For You brown hoodie size large. Good morning guys. It is the next day at 6.45 a.m.
We missed a couple chapters because it's currently now 9 30. Went to the gym around 8 and I was gonna film, but when I got there, it was so busy. I came home, I showered, I did my makeup, and then the funniest thing happened right as I was doing my makeup, I heard like beep, 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 and usually that's a sign that like the courier truck is here. That's usually FedEx's sound of like backing up. So I go to check and FedEx is bringing my packages, which by the way, they're downstairs, and I get to unbox them with you. But then my courier who came to pick up packages that I had going out also came at the same time, and I just find it so funny when two couriers two different couriers are in the same place together i just imagine their interactions being so awkward one courier knows exactly where i leave the packages so i could just see him coming in he didn't even nod to the other courier he just storm stormed right in i'm watching this all the way from upstairs like literally peeking through my window and then the courier stomps in he gets the packages he stomps right out then you see fedex the other courier coming and stomping right out and i'm just like I don't know why, but that made my morning. Just seeing that interaction made my morning, but I just thought it was so awkward and silly. But anyways, the good news is our packages are downstairs and we get to unbox them right now. And there's a new product in it and I haven't seen it before. So let's go check it out. My downstairs is currently a mess right now because these are actually all new products that are coming in February. And I've been so lazy and bad that I haven't put it anywhere. So now I have four more boxes coming in. I have no clue where I'm gonna put all this stuff. Like my garage is full. This is full. I don't know what I'm gonna do. This one's heavy. Oh. Okay. I don't know how to get in now. <laughs> I know for sure that this is a new product. I'm so nervous. Oh my god! That looks so cool. <gasps> it says, are you holding yourself back? And then under it says collection, the truth about growth. And then the front looks like this. This turned out so much better than I thought it would. Okay, so some more stuff that's restocking. We have the This Moment Will Never Come Again crewnex. And this is a size medium in the clay color. This is new because we usually do this in a hoodie, but I couldn't get my hands on a hoodie for this color, so... I thought we would do a crew neck version of it. And then we also have the hoodie version of This Moment Will Never Come Again in forest green. Obviously we have our I'm So Grateful For You, baby blue, which is one of our best selling colors. And we have it in black, which I haven't restocked the black color in a really long time. Like it's just so perfect. So as most of you guys know, I usually come up with like videos or something extravagant for most of my new collections, just because I really like to explain it through visuals what a collection means to me but this time i'm doing something a little bit different i'm going to be writing a blog post because this new collection resonates with me so much right now and it came to me so easily because it's one of the biggest challenges i'm dealing with right now and that is literally just holding myself back i think the truth about growth is that oftentimes you have to acknowledge that you are the one that's holding yourself back and you need to start putting the blame you know on yourself sometimes in a healthy manner but it's like it's things you know where you really want to change but you're you're making excuses and you're like well, i can't do this if my life doesn't look like this i can't do this because i don't have this i want to make a whole blog post on that so that's what i'm going to do right now i'm going to type it up and then i'm going to announce it on my story and i'm nervous i'm so nervous <laughs> also i'm nervous because these are long sleeves they're not hoodies but i did do a poll and a lot of people did say that they would want long sleeves and it'll also be a more affordable option to come up with long sleeves so Fingers crossed these do well. They look amazing though. Look, I am so happy with them. I posted the collection. I did it. I posted the collection on my story. I finished my blog post and I just feel so proud right now because every single time I post a collection, you know, even if it's one person or 10 people telling me that they resonated with it, it just makes me feel so good. Like I, I did the right thing by being vulnerable. It's been a really amazing response and I'm super happy that people really like the collection and I'm very curious to see how it's gonna go. I've decided I'm going to be launching on Thursday, which means I better get my butt in fifth gear because there is a lot that needs to be done. First and foremost, I'm gonna make an ice matcha latte. And then after that, we are going to take uh, product photos for the long sleeves.
Now that I'm finished taking all the photos, I'm gonna transfer them all to my computer right now. And then I'm going to make up a little graphic of what's restocking so people can start getting excited because the restock is in literally two days. <laughs> After doing some of the inventory yesterday, I just got so tired my back was killing and so I decided to stop. Today is a new day. It's Wednesday, January 25th. I've been up for several hours actually, but I just kind of wanted the morning to myself. I had a really nice morning. I did like the morning meditation affirmation session and I read and then I just like watched one of my favorite YouTubers, which is Isabel Page. I always just feel good when I watch her. Now it's already eight o'clock. I've just been doing some email marketing. So I figured why not just turn the camera on and show you guys what I'm doing. productive but very long day it's already 6 30 p.m i'm so tired i finished prepping all my inventory i finished my email campaign sms campaign creating new products putting in new inventory i did a q a i posted i made social media content i don't even know what else i did but i am tired i'll show you guys quickly what my sms and email campaign looks like i'll show you my office show you how full the inventory looks because my back is killing me from doing all of that and then I'm going to end the video because part two will be tomorrow, which will be the launch day and uh, packing orders and all that fun stuff. I'm gonna make it into a two part series. I just don't wanna bore you with like a very, very long video because I think it would be very, very long if I added in all of tomorrow. Let me show you the last few things. This is what our email campaign looks like. So it's just, we just dropped a brand new collection plus restock, check it out. And then a code that people can use. This is what our email looks like. Reborn Club, which is restocked and launched. Oh, restock a little blurb and then um read more photo which i just like i've i've been really debating if i want to keep this photo um shop now and then like let's be friends so that's the email here is what the office is looking like so it is literally packed like there is not even a single shelf that is open right now. I am going to end this video here. I've scheduled my campaigns. I have all my content. I am good to go and I feel so ready for tomorrow. I feel so excited and I truly do think that these long sleeves are going to sell out. I will see you guys next week for part two of this video. For me, it will just be tomorrow. I cannot wait to get to sleep. I cannot wait to start my day tomorrow and I can't wait to film everything for you guys. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any videos of mine and so we can become friends and i'll see you again sometime soon don't forget to stay cool peace okay.